Well, Bill Groff from Crossroads Blues Society joining us today. Good Thanks morning. for coming in. Good morning. So we have a couple of concerts to look forward to this mm. summer. We do. Crossroads has partnered with the uh, Byron Park District. We're more or less bringing blues back to Byron. We're having uh, three summer concerts, uh, June 14th, July 26th, and August 20, I can't remember. 23rd. 23rd, that's yep. right. <laughs> and uh, starting off this Sunday will be Doug McLeod. He's a, a veteran of blues. He's an acoustic blues player, and uh, he's won a few awards here the last couple of years. And he's very much like a storyteller type person. And then in July, we're going to have a young man, a 25-year-old uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Nick and Don't Tell Mama. He's from Crystal Lake, and this young man is quite the performer. I expect he'll be out in the crowd at some point. Okay. And then uh, wrapping up in August, we have Bobby Masano. And Bobby has a long history of, he's been nominated 19 times for Grammys. He's wow. worked with the likes of Stevie Winwood. This guy is the real deal. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. It's located at uh, 2920 East Mill Road. You might, might want to bring a blanket or a chair to sit on. Okay. And uh, these concerts are all free. So yes. If anybody wants to come, they're more than welcome to it. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about Crossroads Blues now, Society. Crossroads Blues Society is a, it's a nonprofit organization, and our, our main focus is we have, we have an annual festival. It's coming up August 29th. It's going to be out at Lyman Park. And uh, our main focus really is what we call our BITS program, or Blues in the Schools program. We've brought blues to the schools over the last, oh, I think since like uh, 2000, 2001, we've brought over like 40,000 students. And we try to do at least uh, two or three programs a year. They're also free events, and we, we hire musicians to educate the young people about blues music and the roots of music. Why is it so important? You said, you know, it's kind of the roots of music. Why yes. is it so important to make sure, you know, kids know about blues? Well, I think blues itself is somewhat of a dying uh, uh, music uh, mm -hmm. genre, so we're trying to keep it alive, basically. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important, because it is, we believe it, you know, started with uh, field hollers, the slaves. Uh, it goes way back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of times we hear about concerts and, you know, this is a good opportunity because it is free yes. to actually get out there. And even if you have never heard blues, you don't know if you're really a big fan of blues, this is a good chance to kind of figure it out, right? It is. And we've always, uh, like our annual festival, again, on the 29th of August out at Lyron Park, it's $5 in advance, $10 a day the show. There's five different bands playing. It's really a great value. Mm -hmm. Big headlines the last few weeks of B.B. King passing. Yes. And not the drama that goes along with that, but the fact that the guy was legendary. Oh, absolutely. Do you find that people become more interested now in blues music with his passing? I think there is a bit of a surge. There usually is any time a legend like that passes. But there's so much going on, in the, especially in the rock area that we're involved with, that I don't think a lot of people even realize. We have a, a monthly event at uh, Hope and Anchor. We also partner with uh, the Lyron Society, and we have uh, we've bumped it up now to two Fridays a, a month, where we have a fish fry and we have live music. So, other than you paying for your fish fry, the music is free also. So, we're we're really trying to just get the word out to people that you know blues is here to stay and come on out. It's such such a mood. It is. It really is. It's a feeling. It's a mood. It's a feeling. Mm -hmm. Love it. And you mentioned that you have some young talent as well. Yes. Uh, coming up in Rockford. Actually, he's going to be, Justin Boots Gates is going to be playing uh, at the Hope and Anchor uh, this Saturday. And, that's, and again, if you get there before 8 o'clock, it, it doesn't cost you to get in. Um, they've got excellent food there. Uh, he won the 2014 Youth Rammy Award, and, and he was playing blues. Uh, he's basically a, a 15, 16-year-old phenom. Mm -hmm. Plays uh, guitar, plays harmonica, and uh, he's actually in college right now. So, wow! And what's it for you just to you know see young people? Like you mentioned the schools program and how important it is to yes. you know keep that going. What's it like for you to see young kids like that, you know, starting to pick it up? Well, it's amazing uh, because again, we're trying to keep blues alive. So, anytime a young person gets involved, it it always you know just kind of delights us that we feel like maybe the cause is going to continue on. Mm -hmm. A note about Justin Boots Gates, I was with some of the folks from the Arts Council, and it just so happened that he ended up playing at the place that we were at, and we didn't really know he was going to be showing mm -hmm. up, and they kind of turned to me and said, 
you've really met this kid before and had him on the show. <laughs> they were blown away by his talent. And they were talking about how he, he seems to just have it in his soul. I mean, oh, he absolutely. was meant to do what he's doing on stage. Justin started playing guitar at a very young age. I believe he was like eight years old. I mean, his parents have really... Uh, harmonica. Oh, yeah, he plays harmonica. like, And, and, and in fact, he, he just played here recently uh, as of last weekend, and I talked to him. And, and he even told me, I, I don't really play the harmonica that much, Bill, unless I'm actually on stage. I don't practice a lot. It's mostly my guitar that I'm playing. And, and he opens like, that box, and there's like tons of harmonicas <laughs> in the box. How do you pick which one to use? Yeah, he's, he's pretty much, uh, for being uh, as young as he is, he's pretty much a purist about it. Yeah, there he is. There's his Facebook page right there. Awesome. Oh. Um, he's actually going to be playing, uh, giving a harmonica workshop at the Lyran Fest okay. in, on August 29th. So... It's great to have somebody local like that. Uh, we've also got another local artist uh, playing at the fest and also playing this Sunday at, in Byron uh, at the park. His name is Dan Phelps. Dan is a true Delta blues type player, totally acoustic, mostly slide. And uh, Dan pretty much is the real deal also. Oh. He's, he's back to the roots music. All right, well, here's the information for you for uh, those three concerts that we talked about. They're all free. They go from 3 until 6 p.m., all of them at Blackhawk Meadows Park in Byron, June 14th, July 26th, and August 23rd. Bill? Delta Blues, you got me thinking Memphis now. <laughs> there you go. Bill, thanks for joining Thank us you. today. We'll be right back.